Today I'm going to show you how to make these amigurumi teddy bears. So grab your 4mm crochet hook and let's get started! We're going to begin by making the bear's legs, so make a magic ring and do six single crochets inside the ring. For round two, we're going to increase all the way around or do two single crochets in every stitch. So you'll end up with a total of 12 single crochets. For the third and fourth round, you're just going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. You're going to end off the leg by doing a slip stitch and then go ahead, cut your yarn, and make another foot. So now my two legs are complete. I ended my second one off with a slip stitch, like the first leg, and now I'm going to chain two, grab my other leg, and write, this is the slip stitch here, so in the next stitch here, I'm going to start just doing single crochets. So that's my first single crochet, and I'm going to single crochet all the way around. And by the end of going all the way around, you'll end up with 26 single crochets. So, so far I've done 11 single crochets, and for the 12th one, this is where I did the slip stitch, I'm actually going to decrease. So I'm going to grab the part from the slip stitch and the stitch that is sort of underneath the slip stitch, if that makes sense. If you don't do this, it's fine as well, but I just don't want there to be a hole. So that's my 12th stitch. Now for my 13, 14, I'm gonna go inside this chain here. So a chain has two parts of the V, so I notice that the, I'm just gonna go under half of the V here. So half the V on this side and half the V when we get to the other side. So what I've done is I've gone all the way around this loop, across this bridge, so to speak, all the way around this loop. So that's been 12 plus 12 plus two, so 26 in total. And for the next round, I want there to be two to get across the bridge again. So I'm going to decrease just so that there's not a hole because otherwise I could easily add an extra stitch. So I'm going to do one, that's, that counts as one single crochet. Then in my next stitch here, I'm going to do another single crochet. So two single crochets to get sort of across the bridge. I am gonna put in a stitch marker just so that I know where I started. Then I'm going to do five single crochets to get halfway across this leg. Then I'm going to do two increases. So increase means two stitches, two single crochets in the same stitch. So two of those, that accounts for four stitches. And then I'm going to do five single crochets to get back to, so I've gone around this leg and then I'm gonna repeat this again, cross the bridge, go all the way across, and I'll end up back at my paper clip. And I'll end up with a total of 32 single crochets. As you can see, I made it back to my stitch marker. And the next two rounds are easy. You're going to single crochet all the way around. Again, I'd recommend using a stitch marker. And by single crocheting all the way around, you'll end up with 32 single crochets, and you're gonna do this for the next two rounds. Begin the next round by doing two single crochets. This is sort of to cross to the, to the leg, so now we're on this leg here. So you're going to do five, sorry, six single crochets. Then you're going to decrease, so go under half, of each of the next two stitches, then do six single crochets. And now I'm back to the same place, but on the other side. So you're gonna repeat that pattern, you'll get back to your stitch marker, and you'll end up with a total of 30 single crochets. 
Now for the next two rounds, you're going to single crochet the entire round and you'll end up with 30 single crochets. So now, as you can see, we've started to form our teddy bear's hips. Begin the next round with two single crochets. That crosses the bridge and then you're going to do five single crochets to get halfway across the leg. Now you're going to decrease, then do six single crochets. Next, do two single crochets, followed by six single crochets once again. Next, do a decrease, and end off the round by doing five single crochets and you'll end up with a total of 28 stitches. So as you can see, this is starting to shape our bear's stomach. Now for the next two rounds, you're just going to single crochet all the way around, and of course you'll end up with 28 single crochets. Begin your next round by doing two single crochets, followed by five single crochets. Next, do a decrease and do five more single crochets. And once you get to this point, you'll find yourself in the exact same spot. So you can repeat this pattern till you get back to your stitch marker and you'll end up with 26 single crochets. For the next round, you're going to once again begin by doing oops, two single crochets. Then do 10 single crochets. Next, you're going to do two decreases. This is to sort of cinch in the belly, like this is the belly you can see is extending. So this is to cinch it in so that we can begin the neck part. And you're going to end off your this round by doing 10 single crochets. And you'll end up with a total of 24 single crochets. Begin your next round with a decrease. Now we're really moving on to the neck bit. So decrease followed by two single crochets. And you're gonna repeat this all the way around your whole bear and you'll end up with 18 single crochets. At this point, before your neck gets too skinny, I would recommend starting to stuff your bear. So just when you're stuffing, make sure to shred your pieces so they're small and just begin adding it inside your bear. Begin your last round of your body here by decreasing, followed by one single crochet. And if you continue this pattern all the way around, decreasing, then doing one single crochet, you'll end up with a total of 12 stitches. Now that we've cinched in enough, you're going to increase all the way around. So do two single crochets in each stitch, and you'll end up with a total of 24 single crochets. Before you begin your next round, you may want to add a little bit more stuffing just so that your neck is secure and your head won't flop around while you're making it. The next round is really easy. You're just going to single crochet all the way along for a total of 24 single crochets. Begin your next round by increasing. So do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then in the second next stitch, you're just going to do one single crochet and repeat this pattern of increasing, followed by a single crochet all the way around, and you'll end up with a total of 36 single crochets. Now for the next three rounds, you're going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. And look, this is how much of this blue I have. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to switch to this similar blue. That's too bad. <laughs> Begin your next round by decreasing. And remember to put your stitch marker in. 
followed by four single crochets. And you're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around for a total of 30 single crochets. Single crochet all the way around for the next round and you'll end up once again with 30 single crochets. The next pattern is decrease followed by three single crochets. And if you follow this pattern all the way around, you'll end up with 24 single crochets. Next, you're going to single crochet back to the beginning where you started, and you'll end up with 24 single crochets. Begin your next round by decreasing. followed by two single crochets and repeat this all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Now for the next round you're going to single crochet the entire way across and you'll end up once again with 18 single crochets. Now before we start sewing our bare head closed it would now be a good time to add some stuffing. Begin the second last round by decreasing, followed by a single crochet. And repeat this till you get back to your stitch marker and you'll end up with a total of 12 single crochets. You can now end off your bear by doing decreasing all the way around for a total of six single crochets. We're going to end our bear off. By the way, this side that sort of sticks out of it is the front because that's the belly. But nevertheless, we're going to cut our yarn and I'm just going to pull through here. Okay. Then we're going to sew the hole closed. So grab your needle and you're going to grab six half V's. So you're just going to grab, so that's one, then you can grab the next one, like that. and once you have all six, you can pull closed. There you go, I've got all six, so I'm going to pull tight. Now I no longer have a hole, but where my hole used to be, I'm going to put my hook or my needle through that and I'm going to poke out into a random part of my bear. Let's see. Over here looks good. Now just reshape your head a bit. It looks a little wonky. That looks good and I'm just gonna poke through my head one more time, get it all the way across, and then I'm going to snip my yarn. And the bulk of your bear is now complete. Just make sure your head doesn't look deformed from all that poking and prodding. And we'll move on to the next part of your bear shortly. Mm -hmm.